So I'm going to try to make a, some improvised candy boards, but using a frame of drawn comb instead of making uh, just a straight out candy board. And I'm, so we're going to put the sugar slurry in the cells of the, of the frame here. And also, whatever I have left over, I'm going to make a sugar brick in my two pound beeswax or mold. For And uh, so our method today is I have some granulated sugar, 12 pounds. I have some apple cider vinegar. Not It's not flavored. It is apple cider vinegar. That's what you want to use. So the method is... Uh, Throw in 12 pounds of sugar. And then we want to put in about a pint of the, of the apple cider vinegar. And I do have a mark. This is a quart. And I got a mark on about half of this. So we're gonna pour this out. And we just want to get a, a moist, a moist slurry. That's what we're looking for. Okay, that looks like about, about half. And then we're just going to mix it in. Get everything damp. And we're going to put it in the cells, and what's in the cells, um, it'll be damp, and it's going to have to. It'll have to dry. You really wouldn't want to put this on the hive right now. Too too much moisture. Too wet. So I think we could put it in the, in the cells here and um, it may have to sit as long as two weeks being that I don't really have an artificial way to dry it. I don't want to put a frame in the oven. Some people who make these blocks, these bricks like this, they'll put them in an aluminum pan or a, a, a type of aluminum tin and then they can dry, they dry them down in their oven. But Catastrophes always happen so I'd rather not be in the kitchen because I do not want to violate that domain. All right, I got this blended up and it's, uh, it's I mean, it, you could make a ball out of it, but it really isn't, it isn't uh, uh, too bad. Easy to work with. Kind of like, actually like wet sand. So I'll step this on the side for a second. this down here for to keep the mess under control. Now I do have two frames. I do have a frame here. If we can probably, I don't know if we can see that. It does have a bunch of pollen in it. And this would be a good choice in general, but I'm trying to see how much weight we're going to get in. Because we're going to weigh these. So here I have, I do have a frame that's totally empty, nothing in it. I guess a tiny little pollen dust or whatever. So uh, I think we'll start with that. So we're looking to do about uh, three cups on each side. Here I have a third cup measure. So I need nine of these. So we're just going to take this and just start working it into the cells here. 
Now this could work really good. You can put this, put these on really at any time. Uh, you can put them on in um, in the winter time. Say you, you feel that your hive doesn't have enough food, you could just go out there and put it in between the frames. Try not to put it right into the cluster, but right next to the cluster. And uh, I mean, this will buy them some time. Uh, you know, and give them some food to eat. They'll be able. It'll be hard by then, but they, and they may need a little bit of moisture. You could. I always have done this in the past with sugar. And if I added sugar to the hive, I'd, I'd maybe put a little sheet of uh, wax paper on top and uh, throw a little snow on there, and then the snow will uh, would, will melt from the bees and get a little water there. And then, but the nice thing about these frames. They can physically cluster on both sides of the frame, so that's easy. It's right where they're at. They don't have to candy boards. They have to kind of get up on top. A little more difficult for them to do, but uh, um, they do work. But this is maybe just a better, a different alternative. And uh, let's see if I can knock this down. We haven't done the other side yet, but I think I can even grab a little bit more here that in I mean I wouldn't try to feed a colony this exclusively obviously but this is just an emergency and 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 it works and, and I, the thing I like about it also is the surface area there's so much surface area that they can work with that the bees are uh, you know so many bees can get on this at once that's what I that's my why I like it Now this could even work for packages, especially if the packages, if it's cold, when the packages come and it's gonna be very difficult to feed them. This is something that you could easily add to, um, just, to so they, uh, just an assurance that they aren't going to starve or die on you. You know, if they can't get syrup, they can at least get, uh, they at least got sugar there and they could at least weather the cold weather a lot easier. So I think it's something to add to a person's repertoire. Now I'm gonna after I'm done here, we're just gonna I'm gonna let this sit in this in my honey house here. You know they say it may take up to two weeks. For that to, to get for it to harden up and for the moisture that's in the that apple cider vinegar to kind of evaporate but but it's uh, it's getting in there quite well so we'll we're gonna weigh this in a second and then we'll have to consider how much weight of sugar is in here there will be a little bit less once he once it evaporates, but I think it'll be a, a good idea that, you know, bees in the spring, they eat about 12 to 15 pounds a month. A month now we're talking, a whole month. So, so this one frame here might end up, you know, buying you two weeks. There, that's pretty good. Okay, let me set this off to the side for one second. Have our, it's our scale. And turn it on. Let's see if we can read that. There we go. And we will uh, have an empty new box just for carrying it. So I'm going to tear that. I also have just a, an extra frame. I, I guess I, I should have done this already. But. So this is just an empty frame, same, about the same as that one, so really close. It should be. So now we're going to tear this. 
Now the net weight of that frame, of this frame, should be how many pounds of sugar is now in that frame. So we've taken off for all this other weight. So this is telling me I've got three pounds of sugar in there. I could probably even get a little bit more, probably get it up to three and a half. Probably, I don't think four, but maybe three and a half. Now that is wonderful. That would at least buy a, well, just one of these frames would buy you uh, at least a full week easy of food, maybe even a little bit longer. And then it's easy to add, you know, two or three frames. So things are, uh, it, it, it's pretty easy to do. And that's just one way to, one way to do it. Okay, all right. So that's the frame. Now here, let's try the, if you want to try a sugar brick, you could use this uh, beeswax. This is just one thing you could use. You can use an aluminum pan, a little small little bread tins. You could use, I mean, whatever. And you could make big ones. You could, they could be as big as this and set them on top of the hive. But the thing of it is you got to make them thick enough. So I think you got to get them at least an inch and three quarter thick. Otherwise, they'll, they could fall apart on you. And now there's a possibility, maybe you even want to set these on top of, on top of um, wax paper, especially if they get crumbly, just put them on top of wax paper so they don't fall to the bottom of the hive. Now this uh, measures two and a half inches, so we're going to get it about half, about half full of, uh, of sugar. So we're going we're gonna to put this on here. And we're gonna tear it, and we're gonna see how much sugar we get in this. Sugar bricks work fine, uh, anything like that. They, the bees can cluster right around them, but you need to put a shim on top of your hive if you do something like that. You need a shim to, uh, um, to raise the inner cover a little bit so there's space to put these in. But I know you don't, and you know, so if you make something like this and you don't have a way to dry, dry them, just plan on, plan on, give yourself two weeks before you take them out. If you take them out too, too early, they're going to fall apart on you and it'll be, well, then you could, if it's a disaster in that regard, you can always, uh, always just, um, Put, a, put them in crumbling pieces on top of wax paper, right on top of the top bars of the top box, because that's where the bees are going to be in winter. Okay, so I filled this up about halfway, compressed very good. Let's see how much this weighs. So this is only, a, well, it's a little over a pound for that. So that's one pound cake. Now, a person could set six or eight of them on top of your top bars if you, uh, you know, like I say, with that little shim so that you don't, you don't want to make them too tall. And uh, that is going to be a wonderful way for emergency feeding. So if you got any questions, we'll have that in the Zoom meeting later. So thank you for watching. Bye. So these are some pans that I use for uh, beeswax. You can see I usually pour them up to there. Some people want just a big block like that. So let's just see. I already teared this at zero. So we'll see how big, how big, how much uh, weight will be in this big, big sh sheet here of sugar. I'm getting too tall.
good idea sometimes you can put uh, like pro health in, in with the sugar <coughs> excuse me and the, the odor of the pro health really makes us attractive to the bees all right that's nice and compacted there probably an inch and a half tall inch and three quarters right around there okay so here we got there's three and a half pounds now <clears throat> I would think something like that you could easily put <clears throat> two of them on top of a hive that'd be <clears throat> seven pounds of sugar that's just another way to do it so thanks for watching bye